Good afternoon, this is my Shaman Oracle reading for this new week. We have Wednesday today and I am continuing reading for Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius and Pisces. And this reading here is for Capricorn. Welcome Capricorn. I'm using once more the same decks that I used last week. I added one more card to the Moon and Stars Tarot, however, and the reading starts with the Sacred Sites Oracle Deck. And the Sacred Sites Oracle Deck relates to special places, holy places of history, and lots of legends and stories relating to such places. And the card that came out for you is Mount Tai. And the Mount Tai is in China, in Shandong. And Mount Tai relates to achievement. Asking you, what have you learned about duality? See the Tai 2. The yin and the yang symbol on the card that represents perfect balance and reflects the necessity to live fully. If you only listen to one version of a story that God is, for instance, male, then our life is somewhat imbalanced, dark and light moon and sun, death and life, they are some of the yin and yang paired energies. There are no right or wrong elements. So how do you perceive the energy of the dragon on which the Tai Tu is placed? The Chinese dragon embodies wisdom, power and good fortune, a positive perspective. And yet, in the West, the dragon is seen as negative and a destructive being that one must slain. Maybe you need to bring some dragon energy into your life to burn through obstacles and fire you up to reach your goals. To advance spiritually, you must understand the concept of yin and yang and bring your world into balance. Would the thought of scaling 7,200 steps deter you from trying to reach the mountaintop? Chinese emperors and millions of more humble pilgrims, they have been visiting sacred Mount Tai for over 3,000 years. So focus on the south gate to heaven that leads to the summit and think of your life's journey. Have you had a clear run up the mountain? or taken a meandering path to explore different teachings along the way? Has your journey been hard and painful, or are you still waiting at the bottom, wondering what the point is? Now is the chance to investigate why your life may appear difficult at some times. Are you willing to seek a different perspective? You have a choice. You can walk up the path that the feet of many others have created or start your own way and feel the incredible sense of achievement when you reach final, finally the summit. At the top, of the mountain awaits Kuan Yin, that beautiful goddess of mercy. 
and she is offering sympathy, compassion, and insight. It is her sacred duty to relieve suffering, helping those who seek and ask her to remove, to get rid of pain and of fear. So when did you last ask the gods and the goddesses for help? When did you last call upon your ancestors or your spirit guides? Most people, they are too proud to do so. So if you ask her, then Kuan Yin will help you to heal and show you how to free yourself from a painful heart and teach you compassion. Wherever you are on your spiritual journey, look up as you climb the sacred mountain and you will see Kuan Yin smiling and encouraging you to keep going. On a path of enlightenment, you will be offered the opportunity to let go of all your burdens so that when you reach the top, you are free of everything that has been weighing you down. A blessed and a welcome achievement. So now make a prayer to Kuan Yin. The following prayer to Kuan Yin is a reminder that despite your challenges, what you put your mind to, you can achieve. Whether you are dealing with the day-to-day -day demands of holding down a job or running a home and keeping the family together or engaging with one of life's bigger projects, let the following words be a reminder that you can prevail. Repeat them at night before you go to sleep. An arduous journey I have walked, and though I question what's been taught, I take courage by the strength in me. I know I can change what I can see. For Yang must again be joined by Yin the, to find the light, allow darkness in to raise the goddess and see her in all, I need not let the good side fall. Kuan Yin, come take a walk with me, be my light, so I may see. Steady my resolve, so I need not stop and help me reach my mountain top and thus shaman and oracle which is a german deck has given you the card evening dance you are advised to finish your dance today and every day with a prayer of blessings so be happy to finish times and cycles to start new beginnings even if you have the feeling that some periods in your life didn't work out the way you have hoped for, you got a new experience and that is always a good thing. So the card shows dancers wearing feathers and making music. The evening dance is an important ritual to finish the day by giving thanks and to merge from the day to the night when the dream world shows us a new world of existence. Message here is to use some time this evening to get a chance to think about how best to enjoy nature and to find time for meditation. 
do this for a couple of days and get ready for the night in which to travel to the dream world. With regards to relationships, there are many relationships to be thankful for. So give thanks to your parents, siblings, relatives, teachers, colleagues, friends, and celebrate all your good relationships. There is medicine aspect. Be happy for each conclusion and so the clarity it brings to difficulties. A conclusion brings an ending and each ending is also a new beginning. So each day ends and an earthquake starts and ends eventually as well. Search to find something that stays and will not vanish. Realize that your life is unique, just as unique as you are. The Native American oracle card that you got that is the Calumet, and the Calumet is about peace. The Calumet is the largest of the Native American <coughs> pipes and one of their most sacred objects. The white buffalo woman taught the humans about it and the rituals associated with it. It was used to seal covenants or treaties as a way to ensure peace. It was also used in rituals to ask favors from the gods and from nature. As soon as it was lit, this calumet, it was raised towards the sun, then lowered to pay homage to the earth and finally to the four directions. Message is to find a way to create a peaceful, mutually beneficial solution, honoring and respecting others' ideas and feelings involved. Keywords they are peace, contract, alliance, recompense and honor. And the time for the card is Thursday for whatever reason. The next card is from the Dungeons and Dragons deck. It was created after the computer game with the same name came in existence. So the Dungeons and the Dragons card for you is the Page of Strength. Message is it takes energy to do something awesome. So go for it. Engage your free spirit and follow your passion. And the special message here is that a holy order of priests, actually evil priests, wants you to retrieve a sacred object stolen from them. It is a unicorn's horn that was stolen by a real holy person. My oh my, I see those stories here, they are amazing. And the last two cards are from the Moon and Stars Tarot. First one for you is justice. Keywords are legitimacy, honesty, principles, balance, justice, and fairness. And on the card we see a woman stares into the scales of the zodiac sign Libra, which signifies legal justice and truth. As she watches over the universe, she holds the scales in her hands. And the scales, they are perfectly balanced, just like the balance between the energies of the sun and the moon. 
day and night. So the full moon shines brightly above her, blessing the situation with joy and showing the light when situations do feel dark. The meaning is truth. The justice card represents honesty in legal situations, home life and work and asks you, are you being true to those around you? And if not, your actions require some answers. So this card may signify you are being treated unjustly or the card could mean that as well and in time it will become clear how and why you are treated unjustly alternatively perhaps perhaps someone around you is being deceitful and guilty of taking your kindness for weakness so this card can also represent the balance between home life and work. There is a star message. Seek the answers you need and then accept the facts. And a moon magic affirmation is asking you to say this. I find balance in everything I do. And the second card from the Moon and Stars Tarot is the Four of Cups. Relating to some withdrawal, negligence and consideration. Meaning is distraction of some kind. This indicates a feeling of discontent. You are self-absorbed at the moment feeling distracted and bored because you are emotionally withdrawn. Your standards, they have not been met. This is because things have not turned out the way you had hoped. Opportunities are presenting themselves to you. So look at things from a different angle as they come around again. It is time to look within to fix the matters of the heart. Accept the situation you are in now and reflect and then move forward with a new outlook. There is a star message. Revitalize yourself as you hold the power of positive change. That was the reading for you, Capricorn. Thanks for listening. Wishing you a wonderful day today. Wishing you a good rest of the week. Take care and goodbye.